Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to some more tabs. Now this is going to be quite a cool video because we're going to be doing a campaign which was created by Donna who is one of my subscribers and one of my Discord members. So yeah, it should be quite cool that I've actually had a campaign created for me to play. So it should be pretty cool to do. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any future awesome content. And also, if you want to join my Discord server and feature in some of my future videos, which now I've got enough people we're going to start doing, the link is down in the description, so make sure to join that, and then you'll be in a future video. So if you want to try and do this campaign yourself, what you need to do is go to the workshop, and then in the search bar, type in Donna's Trident Challenge. Right there, you can see it a bit easier. Don't forget to put in the apostrophe, because otherwise it doesn't come up. I already tried it. And all you have to do is click on the subscribe button there, and then if we go back and into campaign, and then you go to custom, and there it is. It comes up there, Donna's Trident Challenge Part 1, a challenge for Trident and Triton. So thank you, Donna, for making this awesome campaign. I can't wait to try it out. So let's go into it. Now, there are 11 different levels in this. So I'm going to be splitting it up into two videos because you guys seem to enjoy my shorter videos rather than the ones that go on for a very long time. So yeah, we'll be splitting it up into five and then six. So this will be part one. Part two will be uploaded in a week's time. So yeah, subscribe, notification bell, like the video, and let's get on with it. 45 spears and a mammoth is the first one. So let's go. Now the good thing about this is, obviously Donna is one of my subscribers. So I'm guessing they chose this map because this is my favorite map in the game. It is nice and easy for doing battles in. It's got this nice area, but it still looks nice in the background. So we know what it is. It's 45 spears there and one mammoth. So that's what we have to try and beat. We have 7,500 gold. So let's get to planning. Now I'm going to try and not use the secret ones. Just the ones from the main thing. Because I think there is still a bit too much of a cheat. The secret ones in a campaign. But we're going to do this. So we're going to counter some of the spear throwers with our own spear throwers. Because, well, I love spear throwers. So let's put in 20 of those. Now, what we need to do is we need to protect the spears, first of all. So we're going to just use some cheap shields just in front of them to hopefully take the brunt of it. Um, what else can we put in? I'd like to put in some of those, but they're quite expensive. These stone mages, they are quite expensive, so... Maybe let's, let's put in three of them. Hope I know they'll kill some of the shields, but I'm hoping the shields will protect them long enough to get close enough and wipe out most of them. And then we're going to need someone else. Now, we do have enough to put in our own mammoth if we want to. That'd be quite cool. So if this doesn't work out, we'll try that. We'll try putting in a mammoth. So then let's go for some clubbers as well. Let's put in some of those. There we go. We'll put in 10 of those. Let's put in some more spear throwers. I do like my spear throwers. So we're going to put in some more of those. We'll put in another 10. And we can afford another stone mage. Let's put in that. That leaves us with 280. So let's put in another three shields there just to split it up a bit. And let's get started. Let's go with our first battle. Now, they're throwing at the shields, which is what I wanted. Hopefully, there we go. We've got some of them being wiped out. Are the mages going to be able to fight? Beautiful. The stone mages did exactly what I wanted them to do, which was wipe out most of the spear throwers. And the shields are actually still working quite well. The only problem is the mammoth is absolutely destroying us, but we wiped it out. There was a stone mage over here somewhere who has absolutely destroyed that mammoth. That was awesome. So that was actually a really good plan. How to do that. That was actually the perfect setup. But yeah, first one down. Let's move on to the next one, I guess. So this is our next one, which is called Hay and Arrows. And yeah, it's pretty much what it says. It is some hay balers and some archers. So this one's going to be a little bit different. Now, obviously, we, oh, we've got a lot less money as well. I really need to keep checking that. We've only got 3,500. So we're going to put in our standard 10 spear throwers because I absolutely love spear throwers. We'll put in some shields as well. Give them a bit of a chance. Um, 
I quite like doing the stone mages behind. And do we put in some more? There we go. We'll put in some more spear throws. And we'll just go with that for now. It might not work. Or it might. But let's go. Now, all I need is those archers to be wiped out. That is the most important thing. That These guys can easily be killed. But if those archers get to keep going, especially if they manage to kill him before he gets... There we go. That's what we were looking for. But I think we're still going to lose. I think I might have to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and put in archers versus archers because they're just getting wiped out. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so spear throwers, not the best idea. Definitely not the best idea to have spear throwers. I think we're going to have to upgrade to archers. So let's do archers and archers. Let's see if this works. Just change the spear throwers for archers. I mean, that has helped us out quite a bit more there. We've got quite a few shields left. And our archers are still going. I think we're, we could actually win this one. This looks like this could be a really good win. We've still got a stone mage as well, but he's dead before he could get another shot off. So now it is literally just archer versus archer. It's going to be all about who can reload fastest. And who can hit better. I mean, all of those ones just seem to be hitting. These ones aren't. I think we're still going to lose this one. Because they just have such better accuracy. Yeah. Oh. And now he's dead. Well, he survived the one that went right between his feet. But he's still dead. So this is going to take some planning. So let's clear all of those. Now, I'm wondering... Will they fire fast enough? I'm thinking, what if we put... Um, let's put the shields right up close. Like that. And then put the stone mages behind. Like that. That's what I'm thinking. And then we'll go back to our uh, spear throwers. If we put them that close, I think we have a chance of just wiping them out straight away. So if I slow it down, because this should happen very quickly. That's all them dead. But that did also kill all of our shields, which means we are vulnerable to the archers now. Yeah, that just wiped us out. The problem is the stone mages kill our shields. What if we can get all their focus? Um, my keyboard seems to be running out of battery, so that's fun. I really should have changed them before starting this. But what if we put them up there? And them down there. Because all of that focus should still go in the centre. Which means they can come up the sides and take them out. So let's go with that. There we go. That was a perfect hit. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Come on. Surely they can't kill all of us. There we go. Few hits. They're down. Beautifully done. Let's move on to the next one. So this one is called Wills and Fire. So, that's pretty obvious what we've got. We've got a wheelbarrow. We've got two wheelbarrow dragons and a dragon. Now, I know they move very, very fast. They don't. So, that one should be quite easy to kill, I reckon. Now, from playing this game so much, we know that the dragon is extremely good against clumped people. And so are these. So, I'm thinking we spread people out a bit. So, if we do something like that. Let's take out one of those. If we do that, and then... Hmm. This is tough. We need someone who's quicker than those. Who can we use? Do you know what? Let's try a couple of ninjas as well. I didn't actually check how much money we had to start with, but we're still in budget by quite a bit. So I'm thinking stretch those out a bit like that. Let's put in a monk. Uh, how much have we got? 570. So we could put in another ninja. Let's put another ninja right next to that one. And we'll go with that. That looks quite, uh, like quite a nice setup. So that one's gone straight away against the monk. They're wiping themselves out though. If we could just get those wheelbarrows down, then we could focus on the dragon at the end. Now a lot of our people have died already. But... I think we still stand a very good chance here because we've taken out the fire. 
So all we've got now is spear throwers against these guys that are going to punch our guys. But that's dead. And oh, what a hit. I mean, that won't really kill you. It's only a shoulder wound. But that was beautiful. What a setup that was. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. 100 halflings. Okay, this might lag it out a bit. But we're going to go up against 100 halflings. Now, I've got to do this. I'm sorry, I've got to. I know it seems like a bit of a cheat, but we've got to put those in. And then let's do a dragon as well. That's that's all we can spend. That is all of our money gone. We've got three of those and one of those. Let's go against 100 halflings. And it's not lagging it out too much, but the arrows are. So I think we just killed our own dragon, which didn't really help. But they are all bundled up now. So if they can hurry up and reload and fire, that should wipe out most of them. Look at it. Look at how many arrows there are. What the hell? Come on, you need to reload. You need to fire. You need to fire. What is going on? All of those arrows just missed. What are they doing? Well, we've lost. I really thought that was going to work, but that was just terrible. <laughs> they can't even shoot anything. They're just missing absolutely everything. Is he finally going to be killed? There we go. So we lost that. That didn't work. It was quite a bold thing to try. Let's get rid of all of that. What if we do catapult, catapult, catapult? And then, how how much is the next decent shield? Oh, it's only 100. I'm thinking, block it all off with shields there. And then, let's put in some snake archers as well. Because, do you know what? We'll take out some of those shields. Take out some more of those shields. And we'll do that. Then that way we spend all of our budget. The shields should hold them off for a bit. So they can get some decent shots off. And the snakes should occupy them quite a bit. That's what I'm thinking. So let's go. And we just shot our own people with snakes. But we have wiped out quite a few things. And the shields are still working. Now if they can clump together and them catapults can fire again. Come on. Fire. There we go. No, I think we're still going to lose it. This is quite a tough one. It's actually quite tough. Because we can't get the shots off fast enough. I mean, we have reduced it down. And they are still stuck up there. So this one might be our saviour. They're all moving over to that one. That's fired and died. No, it's not going to recharge in time. We're so close though. That's going to shoot itself and kill itself. No, it didn't kill itself, but it's still going to get destroyed by these guys unless it can get a shot off really quickly. Come on, mate. Come on. No, he's just missing. They're just that bit too close underneath him. Are they actually going to destroy it? Or I'm kind of waiting for the match to end so we can... Wait. So we did lose, even though surely we killed them before it killed us. But... I think everyone actually died. That's the first time I've ever had a battle where everyone is dead. We just lost because everyone died. Oh, there we go. Let's lift back up. Okay. So what if we move our shields back? Because then that way they can get a shot off without killing our shields. So let's... We'll, we'll just clump them all together again. But hopefully they'll be able to shoot about here before the shields get there. Come on. Fire. Fire. There we go. That's what I wanted. That should take out half of them. Then the shields can distract. Come on. You need to fire again. This will kill our shields. That's the problem. And most of those catapults actually just missed. Which is also a problem. But we have got two clumps. Four catapults. Now we've got two smaller clumps. And four catapults. Now they're all targeting that. So those two might do quite well for us I don't really know who's left we've still got three left and I think two of those maybe three of those did that not kill anyone who's I think it's just one left or two two left right in the middle we've got two as well and it doesn't seem to be able to kill them right we've got one left and two of ours left La la la. That's apparently how they talk. And ha! Oh, yes! We finally won! 
Thanks to this guy surviving. Look at him. He's so happy holding on to it. I mean, if you're going to fire a catapult, probably best not to hold on to it. Otherwise, your face might end up smashed through it. Well done, mate. You're stuck like that for the rest of your life. But at least you're still alive, unlike the others. So, let's move on. Okay, so this is going to be our last challenge of this video. I'll move on to the last six of them in the next video. So, yeah, we've got ten scarecrows. Now, I like the scarecrows. I never used to like them, but for some reason they've become one of my new favourites. And they're quite hard to beat, but we have been given 10,000 gold. So, I've got to think about what I can use. 10,000? Should, should we do it? Should we just go for six of those? Let's go. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. I mean, it kind of worked, but then we lost. We needed to kill one more. We killed so many of them. There was one left. Just one. We killed nine of them. Let's try spreading these out. I didn't think that would get anywhere near that. But we're going to try spreading these out to separate it all. And to get different angles on the scarecrows. And we did it. That was so easy. Oh my god. I really thought that was going to be a hard challenge. That was so easy. Wow. Well, they got absolutely done in. They were screwed from the start, they were. I don't know how they got so high. Look how high, how high that's firing. I'm guessing one of them got tipped up. Yeah. Did we only... How many did we lose? There's one. That's still alive. That's still alive. That's still alive. And that one's being attacked. So only two of them got attacked. That is awesome. They can easily beat Scarecrows. That was so cool. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you, Donna, for creating this awesome campaign. We'll do the next six parts in the video that I'll upload in a week's time. So not the next video, but the one after that. And yeah, this was absolutely awesome. So thank you for making it. And don't forget, guys, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any future awesome content. And also join my Discord server. The link is down in the description to this video. Peace out.